that's the way, Gladstone. Yeah. We'll show those communists from the BBC <laughs> that despite the pernicious influence of their puerile police dramas, the British Bobby still believes in the very highest of standards. You know, sir, I was nearly in show business once before. Oh, yes, my mother was very pushy. Well, I suppose all mums think their kids are beautiful, but the interesting thing is, sir, I actually was. <laughs> Gorgeous little fella. Big eyes, big smile, chubby little cheeks. Yes, I think I get the idea. And the <laughs> purest of pure soprano voices. I could curdle milk while it was still in the cow, sir. Mm -hmm. Anyway, one day Radio Trinidad advertised for a boy soprano. It was my big chance, sir. The whole street turned out to see me get on the bus. Young Frank Gladstone going to be a star, they said. And I would have been, but for two things. And what were they? My testicles, sir. <laughs> they dropped on the way to the auditions. <laughs> I still believe that if that road had been tarmacked, I would have got away with it. <laughs> I was going to sing all for the wings of a dove. I had to give them old man river instead. 